Wow! Look at that! Are they the Havras? They're the latest anti-mechon weapons, designed by Lorothea and the Ministry of Research. What a glorious sight. The coming together of all the peoples of Bionis. Yes, sir! This is how it should always have been. Then perhaps father would not. Your Highness! We are fortunate that Dixon informed us of the enemy's new weapon. Our defenses are ready. Today, we start our campaign against Galahad Fortress. Just beyond the fortress lies the Imperial capital of Mekonis. This is a battle to determine not just our own fates, but the future of all life on Bionis. We fight for future prosperity and the glory and honor of all. Troops, advance! Are you saying that Zanza is to blame for Makonis' devastation? It's Zanza's sword that I'm using. Does this mean we're enemies? And if so, why are you... Shulk, calm down. Sorry, I... I will take you to the Makonis capital, Agniritha. Is that your plan? Lead us straight to the gates of our enemy? Deliver us into Egil's hands? It will be quicker to show you than to explain. Then you will understand the history of Makonis and the battle between the two titans. Up ahead is a lift that leads to the central factory within the chest of the Makonis. The capital, Agniratha, lies just beyond there. This is the central factory within the chest of the Makonis. Can you see the ring up ahead? At the base of that ring is a transporter that leads to Agniratha. We must first head there. This place is full of autonomous security, Mekon. Tread carefully. finally decided to show up. Let's see if we can bust these rust buckets like last time. Think we can do it? We'll get them. With this many troops on our side, we don't even need Shulk's help. You're telling me you're more worried about the kid's schedule? Kinda soft for you, Atharan. Shut up! Get moving! Division 4, defend the barrier. Division 6, assist any wounded horns. Bring it on! These high here may be a bunch of sissies, but they've got some pretty nifty gear! That idiot! He'll get his head knocked off at this rate! Ha! Keep it up! Show everyone the power of the Nopon! Go, Nopon, go! Fight like a hero upon Ricky! It appears we have gained the upper hand. Sire, if we hold our current position, a great victory is within our grasp. It is still too early to come to that conclusion. The enemy still has hidden forces. Your Highness, enemy reinforcements approaching from above. It's a face squadron. They're here. Divisions one to three, continue supporting the Homs and encircle the faces. Your Highness, think of yourself. 
Once the vanguard has been eliminated, we must join the fight. Better that than die as cowards. Move! Ha! Stick this in your exhaust pipe and smoke it. Who has another taste yet? Eat this! Should have stayed at home, lousy junk box. Hmm. They're doing rather well. I do so enjoy a good show. But they have yet to unleash their power and fulfill their true potential. Deadbeat drones, come out and face us like real machines! I'll sort out the lot of you scum! So this is the Maconis capital? Yes, Agniritha. The heart of the Machina civilization. It looks so desolate. Like there are no signs of anyone living here. It truly is a soulless city. Here, bad place. Ricky want to go. So the Machina built this whole city? Not too shabby. It looks like the buildings have been here for a very long time. Look, Shulk! Dino Beast! Dino Beast eat city! A Dino Beast? Here! But how? It is a Telethia! It looks like... it's stone. Why would there be a Telethia in a place like this? The fossilized Telethia are what remain of the beasts that attacked the capital in the ancient battle. Why did the Telethia attack your city? Wasn't the ancient battle only between the Bionis and the Mechonis themselves? The answer to your question can be found in that tower, the data center. It is better that you see with your own eyes. Only then will you truly understand what happened between the Bionis and the Mechonis. Uh, it looks like the power's up and running. <sighs> Fiora, what's the matter? Everyone, follow me. What is that? It looks like it's here. But it's just an image. No way. Whoa! You're right! These are memories of a time long forgotten. Fiora? Hey. They were left behind by the Machina before they abandoned this place, so that others may know their story. Her voice sounds like... In ancient times, when the Bionis and the Mechonis came into existence, I was born as well. Just as the Bionis had a soul, I came to exist in this world. As the soul of the Mechonis, I created my children on Mechonis, and acquired this body. They called themselves Machina. And Mechonis was transformed into a world brimming with life.
The Machina gave rise to an advanced civilization, and built this great city. This city? Can't believe it used to be so lively. They lived their lives in peace and harmony. The gentle Machina worshipped me. Life also flourished on Bionis. The Machina generously shared the fruits of their civilization with the peoples of the Bionis. They believed their two worlds would grow hand in hand. Then, a terrible fate descended on them from above. Is that... the Monado? But why? Why would the Bionis... Wielding the Sword of Light, the Bionis attempted to destroy the Machina. Are those Telethia? I tried to save the Machina, and confronted the Bionis. And so, I confronted Zanza. Z zanza The battle waged on and on. Even as our life forces depleted, Sans and I continued to fight. However, it did at last come to an end. The giant. This is when Zanza was imprisoned. Taking advantage of my final blow to the Bionis, its beings took Zanza and sealed him firmly. However, the battle with Zanza had greatly consumed my life force. I warned the surviving Machina that the Bionis had not yet been destroyed, and that one day he would be released. I'm the one who released him. I then entered a long and deep slumber in preparation for Zanza's inevitable reawakening. It's all clear to me what you wanted to do. Stop the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. Fiora, I see now. It was her inside you. Yes. 
Lady Maynath desired a body in which she could be free. And after you were captured by Egil's Mekon, it was I who transferred her soul into your body. But why did it have to be my body? Because you are close to Shulk. The heir to the Monado. <sighs> It was all because of our world, because of Bionis, that this city was devastated. Now I understand why Egil would want to stop the Bionis from reawakening. I get it too. But how's killing any of us gonna solve his problem? Precisely. What happened to the Machina was a tragedy. But we cannot forgive the Mechon attack on Bionis. What worries me is the Monado that the Bionis used. It's no different from how the legends describe, but still. It must hold a deadly power. But you have used it wisely, Shulk. It has not overwhelmed you, as it did me. He's right. If you hadn't been using the Monado, we wouldn't have lasted five minutes. But it was Zanza who bestowed this sword upon me. However, it is not Zanza who now wields the Monado. It is you, Shulk. <sighs> that is also the reason why Maynath chose Fiora as a vessel so that the tragedy of he who wields the Monado would not be repeated. The tragedy of he who wields the Monado? Shulk, believe. Believe in the path you have chosen, and those who walk it with you. Maynath once said this of the Monado. The Monado is not simply a unique weapon. It is the light within each and every person in this world. Light? What do you mean? It is the light of life. The will to survive, no matter what. Perhaps Lady Maynath was drawn to your light. Beyond there lies the Maynath Shrine. Egil will be there. Is it still your intention to defeat Egil? That has not changed. We understand the history of Mekonis now. If he is willing to listen, we will try to reason with him. But if not... I understand. Then, if that is your decision, so be it. I will try to persuade Egil one last time. But I am prepared for his refusal. Venea. I know Venea said she'll try to persuade him, but she didn't sound confident. We have to go after her. But how do we get to the shrine from here? Up ahead is a transporter leading to the shrine. But it's inactive. We need to trigger the verification devices to activate it. We'll find one at the top of each of the four pillars. If we trigger them all, we can use the transporter. Ah, uh, how Fiora know that? Maynath's memories. She tells me these things. Do you know how to trigger them? Maybe my body itself is the key. Okay. Then let's get searching. Look out! Watch out! It's him! Gato! That's the second time I've sensed an attack without seeing a vision first. Your mastery of the Monado is astonishing. You cannot be permitted to live. Gado, stop! Why are you fighting us? Remember who you are! It's no good! He's completely under Egil's control now. Remember what Vanea told us. I can't believe it. I won't believe it. Gado, please, answer me! How can you lay a hand on Sharla? You're supposed to love her! Marry her, even! I don't know or care. It changes nothing. No! You always protected me and Juju! This isn't you! 
I said I don't know you! I have been granted this body of steel so that Egil's will may be done. This body feels great. Its movement is so precise. We are unstoppable, for we are one. Perfect in body and mind. You don't have to do this. Look at Fiora. She found herself again. Wherever you are, you must still feel pain. Absurd. Well then finish us off. Charla and all. We all saw you miss a second ago. Ain't you supposed to be a crack shot? Or did that pile of junk you call a body mess up your aim, eh? Shut your mouth! an idiot. That was your last chance. He's not giving up. The stories about Gado of Colony 6 are true. Except, he still can't kill her. He's missing Sharla on purpose. Gado, you're just like I was. You can remember who you are. Gado, please! Don't you remember me? It's Sharla! Wither and die as all life on my honest will! Feel our wrath! Shulk. Can you still use the Monado? Fiora? No. You're... Even after losing all living flesh, Ahom's heart will remain. It is still present within this face. Is that true? Yes. It is clear from his actions towards you. The remnants of his heart. Pull him back. Gatto! I will break the curse that allows Egil to control the faces. I need you to buy me some time. Okay. We'll try. Ryan, we've got to help Fiora. Hey, eh? Come on! Right! Fiora? Was that you, or...? Mm. As for him, he'll be fine. Don't worry. Gado! Forgive me, Shana. It's okay. It's all right now. I'm just so happy to have you back. While I was under his control, I, I realized something. Egil once wished only to break the circle of suffering. He believed that if blood is spilt now, a new world will be born. But something terrible happened. And now... Now... He is consumed with vengeance. Egil... Go! Get out of here! Stop them doing what they did to me! To anyone else! I promise I'll be back for you. Until then, stay safe. Drink it. You must be thirsty. Thanks. Don't go dying on us. After we take Egil down, we'll get you looked at. You don't look like any doctor I've ever seen. 
I know a good doctor nearby. She is Machina, though. It'll do. I'll be right here. Hey, kid. What's your name? Ryan. Do me a favor, Ryan. Take care of Sharla. Seer, what is it? I have an unpleasant feeling. A vision? No, but something is not right. The Mekon are neither attacking nor defending. It is as if they abandoned the fight as soon as it began. Impossible. This is a key strategic position. They would never abandon it. Perhaps they have forces hidden on Mekonis. Hidden forces? Could it be? Your Highness, Shulk and the others are in danger. Will you grant me the use of a Havrez? You intend to aid them? I need you here! I did not have a vision, but nevertheless, I can sense something. The Mekonis is awakening. Venea, where have you been? Egil, why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? We survived that battle. We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace, and we still can. The rage of those who were annihilated by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I... I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. You are Egil, leader of Maconis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice? Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy, are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Ether. The base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your bodies. You are aware that Ether is the foundation of them all. Yes. Ether is power. You are the source of that power. 
All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Meconis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose, not I. So you attacked Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost, as you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then, 